It's crazy how the majority of the global population doesn't know the answer to the question, what if all plants on Earth went extinct? How would we bring them back to life if all of them started slowly dying out? The answer to this question lies in Norway's top secret doomsday vault, better known as the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. This vault represents a secure backup facility for the world's crop diversity on the Norwegian island of Spitsbergen in the remote Arctic Svalbard archipelago. It's one of the most important buildings on Earth, and yet so few people don't know about it. It's important because it provides long-term storage of duplicates of seeds conserved in gene banks around the world. This building provides security for the world's food supply against the loss of seeds in gene banks due to various events that could take place, ranging from mismanagement, accidents, equipment failures, funding cuts, war, sabotage, disease and natural disasters. In other words, the plants on Earth are safe from extinction forever as long as this vault is operating. And to make it even better, the whole vault costs just $8.8 .8 million to build. So we've got a few extra questions to answer now. How did it cost so little to build and how does it operate? The answer lies in great engineering and maybe even greater location. This vault is 120 meters buried into a sandstone mountain on Spitsbergen Island and the refrigeration units inside it cool the seeds to the internationally recommended standard of minus 18 degrees Celsius. But what happens if the equipment fails for some reason? Will the ice inside the vault melt and make the seeds go bad? Luckily, no. Since the vault is buried literally in the earth, it's surrounded by permafrost. Permafrost is permanently frozen ground that stays below zero degrees Celsius for two or more consecutive years. The oldest permafrost known to man has been frozen for the last 700,000 years. In this case, the seed vault is surrounded by permafrost, which could keep the temperature inside the vault at minus 3 degrees Celsius if the equipment decided to fail. Even if that happened, it would take several weeks, if not months, for the temperature to rise to minus 3 degrees Celsius from minus 18 degrees Celsius. This means that the seed vault could preserve most major food crop seeds for hundreds of years. On top of all that, the vault needs no permanent staff on site. All seeds inside the vault have been stored in aluminium bags since 2004. Before switching to aluminium bags, glass tubes were originally used for storage. The low temperature and limited access to oxygen ensure low metabolic activity and delay seed aging. When the vault was opened back in 2008, it ranked 6th on Time's Best Innovations of 2008. And as of 2022, almost 1.2 million seed varieties were stored in this vault. Total capacity of the vault is 2.5 billion seeds. Seeds are stored in accessions. An accession usually represents a batch of seeds from the same variety or cultivar, potentially containing thousands of individual seeds. Thanks to the great idea and engineering, our plants are safe from going extinct. And because of that, the Svalbard Global Seed Vault got the second name, Noah's Ark of Seeds. In our opinion, the $8.8 .8 million dedicated to building this giant vault has already paid off. What do you think? Leave your opinion down below and click on the screen to watch the next video.